hey, 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 what's up? This is my favorite time of the day and most exciting time because I get to go live with you guys. And this is in fact the most amazing time of the day because today has been very unfortunate and just bizarre, which is why I'm going live right now, bringing you guys into my world as I document this crazy day in hopes that number one, it brings light to issues that may or may not be talked about right now. But um, number two, I hope that it inspires somebody to try to stay calm and keep it classy when you're dealing with certain personalities. And three, I really just never want to forget this day because I know that there's other people that might be going through this or that are going to experience this in the future and I want them to know that they are not alone. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about the oh, the stupid, like unfortunate events that I have had to deal with over the last 72 hours and I'm going to tell you how I've been handling it. So. Okay, I just want to say that in this video because it is live and whether you are watching it live or not, you might be watching it later, make sure you comment and let me know who you are and where you are watching from. I love to read the comments. Give this video a thumbs up if you guys can hear me okay and I will respond to your comments um, like in between the time as I make this video because I don't want to forget anything. Okay, so moving right along as you guys like join us in this video. Currently, we are in Houston, Texas, staying at an RV resort that I have absolutely loved up until today, okay, <laughs> okay? Everything for the most part has been almost flawless. We've had like two little issues, but they got resolved really quickly, but today, this is the third time. This is like, this is it. So anyways, let me tell you guys what happened to us Easter weekend. I need a tripod, because I'm like holding the phone. And I tried to pre-record this video, but for whatever reason, we have a bad signal in this area today. So anyways, I'm going to try to remember everything that's happened and slow down so that I don't forget anything. Okay, so Easter weekend, all right, Saturday morning, we get a knock at the door and guess who answers, okay? Me, guess who it is? The police. Why are the police at my door? This was not my response. Okay, when they were knocking on the door, I was not freaking out. I'm a good girl. I have nothing to hide. There's nothing to be afraid about. But it's just weird, right? I'm on the phone with a client, okay? I'm doing a conference call, and I'm opening my door, and there's an officer talking to me. Do you know how embarrassing that is? So, you know, especially when you're doing business. So, anyways, um, I get off the phone. I speak to the officer, and the officer don't quote me on her exact words, but because we were talking for about 10 minutes. But the officer explains to me how management called her or the police officer and was complaining that um, they believe that we may have coronavirus and that we are quarantined and that we are not supposed to be outside our travel trailer or using the public facilities and we've been using the bathroom, the showers, the laundry rooms and et cetera, and we're not supposed to. Okay ridiculous okay first off <laughs> let's take things a little a couple steps back let me give you guys some history two weeks ago as of today we traveled to california to get some really important documents we put this trip off for so long because of all the craziness that's going on but then when we realized that we're going to be stuck here in houston for a while we decided okay we need to go to our storage shed to get our birth certificate our social security card things like that because we're probably you know gonna end up like texas residents and so anyways me being the friendly person that i am and everybody here loves me so i thought okay they all come over to our rv spot they're always talking and engaging asking us what's going on everybody is like always wanting to know and be all up in our business and like i'm a social super social person that's fine i invite people over this was pre-pandemic okay invited people over we would have fires all the kids come over to our place i cook for all these kids we just have a ball you know and so anyways before I left, I notified only a few people that we are going to be traveling to California. And the only reason why I even said something is because we were leaving our van. We had to get on a plane and times are crazy. And I didn't want anybody panicking or being paranoid if we didn't answer the door when they knocked. 
okay, it's a real small community here and people talk and I knew that people would notice if they didn't see us for a couple days. So anyways, let me tell you guys, it gets worse like times two, okay? And I'm about to spill it all in this video. Feel free to share it too with whoever you want to because like after this, let me tell you something. I don't want anybody in my audience ever staying like in any resorts or any properties from this company after what happened today okay so anyways moving right along in a nutshell with the police knocking at my door they went back to management and explained to them that i'm not doing anything wrong and then yes that there is this mandatory quarantine for anybody that's like traveling and so forth and let me tell you like i said this was not a leisurely trip okay we literally had to go get birth certificates social security cards all these things that we have in our safe that we do not travel with okay because reality is hitting we're all going to be in the same spot wherever you are for a while so anyways um we've been abiding by the you know the quarantine we've been just like staying here in our own little element not bothering anybody okay minding our business okay why are the cops being called on me because i'm walking my dog and then they lied on us and tried to say that we're using the public facilities even though there's nothing wrong with that we live here i pay hundreds of dollars to live here they lied and said that we were using their facilities um excuse me ever since we got our travel trailer we have not needed to use the public showers i didn't even do laundry since i've come back like it was only up until two days ago that i did laundry the same day that the officer came to our door so anyways the officer made it very clear to management that we didn't do anything wrong so i don't know if they got mad or whatever but let me explain to you guys this was so embarrassing so embarrassing and the reason why is because the cops were at my place for about 15 minutes and it's a small little rv park and all the like not all but like a lot of the residents they were driving by real slow trying to figure out what's going on and then of course they're gonna talk right there's only one of two black well i'm only i'm one of two black families at this rv park and the cops are at our door you know that don't look good, right? I don't like drama. I don't welcome drama. This was completely unnecessary, okay? And so I was just kind of like really embarrassed because after the cops left, next thing you know, all the residents and even kids are like yelling from afar saying, Bianca, why were the cops at your place? And I'm like, oh my goodness, it's so embarrassing. And I don't really know what to say. You know what I mean? Like, what am I supposed to say? You know? And so, <laughs> and so anyways, you know, I, I tried to throw this over my shoulder. But then I realized like the next day that it was starting to really compromise my experience here because like I love living here. I was very intentional about like choosing this place to live at and it's not cheap. It's one of the more expensive resorts to be here, you know, and it's just like cute. It's pretty quiet and little, you know, and so anyways, let me tell you, though, it gets worse, y'all. <laughs> it gets worse. It gets worse. It gets worse. Okay. So oh my goodness so the day is over and then we come to today it's monday oh my god so my mom calls me up she's asking me my well she's my houston mom i got like a kind of like a god mom here but anyways she calls me today she's like asking me what happened and she's like so concerned so she tells me that i should call corporate and let them know what's going on so i thought you know that's a good idea and she you know a lot of people also suggested that i write a bad review and i thought you know i don't like to do that type of stuff but i definitely don't want my people staying here so i want to share this experience because like okay let me back it up for a little bit nobody else is being treated like this this is the rv resort people are coming in and out of here daily to travel and they are not turning anybody away okay so for us to travel and we live here and be gone for one day and to be treated like this it's like i'm being penalized because i was friendly enough to just let them know that i was traveling and i don't know if they're paranoid or i don't know what their deal is i don't care i don't want to assume i can only speak by facts of what i have been told okay so um this is where it gets worse i call corporate and I'm calling, you know, I've got this bubbly attitude as I always do. Even like talking to you guys, like, you know, I'm not like 
cursing and yelling and la la la. So anyways, I call corporate and I'm like, hi, I just wanna let you know that I've had a really great experience here up until today. I wanna bring something to your attention that's made me feel a bit uncomfortable. And um, I don't wanna do a review or anything like that. I really just wanna like talk to you guys about this so that you're aware of what's going on. So, okay, this is what happens. In a nutshell, I'm on the phone with corporate for probably like five minutes. This guy was so rude to me, okay? He had the worst attitude. He was coming at me and communicating with me as if like um, everything he had heard because he had knew about the issue before I called and he was communicating with me as if like he believed whoever made up these stories about me like number one, using the facilities that I haven't used even though that's not against the law. And number two, um, as if I had some symptoms of the coronavirus, like I've been coughing, sneezing, or like having gatherings at my place lately, or like company or whatever. Like there is no reason, zero reason why this should have happened to me. Like it was just like bizarre, right? So anyways, this is where it gets worse. The guy's like, I can't do nothing for you. Um, we're gonna do whatever we want and whatever we can to protect our residents. And when, you know, you're putting people at risk. And I was like, what do you mean? I was like, wait a minute. He's like, yeah, he's like, now you're getting mad. And I was like, um, well, I was like, I'm concerned because the way that you're talking to me, it's as if, um, you know, you believe the rumors and that makes me worried because like, I didn't say this stuff. And also, I don't like the way I'm being treated. So anyway, he's like, I can't help you. I can't do anything for you. And he's like, this conversation is ending, right? And he hangs up on me. But wait, it gets worse. It gets worse. It gets worse. A couple hours later, I get another knock at the door. Oh, my goodness. And let me tell you, ha, huh, thankfully, I got this one recorded. Mm, okay. So... Um, I get a knock at the door. Mind you, let me tell you, this is how my morning went. I woke up really early. I woke up pretty early. I called corporate um, about 8 o'clock because that's when I figured that's when they open, right? After I got off the phone with him, I knew, like, I didn't want to leave because I really love staying here, right? And people were saying that I should leave, and I was trying to figure out what to do, so I decided to pray about it. I wanted to practice discernment, and literally, so I just laid there. I closed my eyes. I just tried to relax, and I just said, I'm going to practice discernment and figure out what I'm supposed to do right I'm gonna feel it out so I end up falling asleep I wake up to loud banging on the door mind you I've got the screen door open um, because I, I like to have fresh air in the morning so like I hear banging at the door and I'm like who is it nobody nobody said anything so I say again I'm like I wait because I'm like maybe I'm tripping I'm like, maybe they're banging on somebody else's door and it's just that loud and I can hear. No, they start banging on it again. So then I'm like, oh my goodness, at this point, I'm worried because I'm like, why is somebody banging on my door like this? My head starts hurting because I'm like in shock and I don't have on any clothes. Like I'm under the sheets. My son is awake. He looks out the window. He goes, oh, it's the boss lady. So I'm like, oh, okay. I'm like, can you tell her that I don't have any clothes? And, you know, can you tell her that I don't have any clothes and can you ask her like what she, what she needs? He goes through the door this is where me as I'm getting dressed I peek out the window which you'll see in the video that I am going to share because I'm going to post it um she peeks you know I peek out the window you know she's there let me tell you what this lady says she asks Carter she goes where's your mama all right this is this this white lady she asks Carter she's like where's your mama and Carter's like oh she doesn't have on any clothes he and um you know I think I don't know if he said can you come back or something like that but this lady said I'll wait like really like come on like it's your off day why are you bothering me anyway especially if you know what's going on in the world why are you showing up at my door why are you at my home and you know everybody's quarantined why are you knocking at my door aren't we supposed to be social distancing so anyways i put on some clothes i answer the door i'm super tired i'm in shock I'm like practically stumbling. I'm like, whoa, 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 you know, what's going on? And the lady's like, you tell me. And so anyways, I'm just gonna play the video. Y'all are gonna see the video when I get a chance to upload it. Cause like something weird is going on right now in the RV park, like all of a sudden I can't get service. I don't know why, but um, I'm gonna post that video like as soon as I can, but it's 10 minutes long. I recorded the entire conversation. Um, I don't, I'm not sure if they're aware that I was recording, but I was in my home, 
okay and um you know i was in my home and so you know it was just ridiculous and even in the video you can hear them cursing okay you can hear them cursing um they're telling me that what was told to me is bs and like they're upset with me because i contacted corporate and told them like hey the police showed up at my door and like you know blah blah blah, blah. and so anyways i was just shocked by the way that they handled it like i'm the victim here and i don't like to be the victim okay i believe in being victorious but this is a situation where i was clearly a victim but they're acting like victims and literally the way they left my door was like ridiculous they like they left with an attitude and i explained to them i said well you know i really love living here and, and it's a shame that i've experienced this but we'll be okay we'll live i said it's just that you know we're so friendly here and we have a very public life but i just i just can't believe that we just got penalized and somebody here lied on us and i have zero clue who it could be and then i asked them and, and then the guy cut me off and he said why does it matter why does it matter because i want to communicate with whoever has this misunderstanding because i find it really hard to believe that somebody's coming after me that's why bianca's in denial why because i'm too nice so i believe for people to treat me like this like really like i i haven't done nothing to nobody okay nothing so regardless i realized today so i don't i don't like to think negative and i was debating on what to do but i think that the best thing for us to do is just to like handle our business rent is already paid let me say i pay my bills on time okay my rent is already paid for the month and so we're just gonna shop around and look for a new place for us to go because like it's just not okay you can't treat people like that and i'm so glad that i got what i got on camera because this is a situation that even even in my in the back of my mind i don't even believe it but the way these people were talking to me and communicating with me when i was just telling them what the officer said when she came to my door it's just not okay you don't treat people like that like for the situation that i've been in i would have really appreciated if management would have been like just more like oh i'm sorry that this happened because they claimed that a resident called and that they didn't call even if that's the case like call me why did you have to show up at my door and confront me for like acknowledging an experience that happened to me a valid experience right so anyways my phone is gonna die i only have like 10 percent, so i can't stay on this video long but i'm going to make um another video i'm just i'm gonna post what happened it's gonna be like the part two and i'm gonna share you know what happened and you'll see you'll you'll see me peeking out the window and you'll hear the whole conversation of how it went down and let me also just give a disclaimer and say that um i really hope that my transparency inspires other people out there to try to stay calm and classy as much as possible when they're dealing with certain personalities because what if i had questioned them back when they were confronting me what if i had gone off on them for being so rude and ignorant to me and coming to my house or to my home with such an attitude and, and and rushing off and darting off as they did so when i just simply explained to them that you know here as long as we live here that we just want to like be friendly but just like mind our business because we don't know who to trust soon as we said that they like got an attitude with us you know or, or with me for saying that and I, I mean you you guys are here in the video you'll see like i'm not going off on them i'm not cursing or anything why are they cursing why are they being so like confrontational and defensive right like but you guys didn't call on me like <laughs> so anyways um i hope this video and my transparency really just inspires other people to like not feed into other people's negativity as much as you can like avoid it please do because when you're trying to do good out here in the world and when you're trying to do things that are going to help other people i'm telling you that the enemy the devil like just negative spirits whatever you want to call it they will do anything and everything to try to distract you these people will come off as the sweetest and the nicest people let me tell you i believe i like to see the good in everybody and these people have been so like 
like they've been really nice but at the same time like if anything go wrong they like pit bulls like they would not allow me to park my van in front of my site after i got my travel trailer and but that's another story um it got resolved later but um but anyways um yeah i just wanted to document this day you know because like this virus situation has really got people paranoid y'all so don't be blind to it you know wear your gloves wear your masks um and try not to take offense when people are walking near you or around you a certain way or whatever because people are worried and so um you know i'm just grateful to be in a position where hey hi i'm just grateful to be in such a position where i have the the finances and the freedom and the ability to just like travel and work from home and go anywhere and also be able to exude such a positive spirit no matter what goes on in crazy times you know and so um <laughs> so anyways you never know who's listening too so you know we have a very public life so i have to be careful because sometimes i feel like i'm putting my life at risk <laughs> honestly sharing these videos which is why we are gonna try to leave ASAP but like I don't know I don't know so anyway we're working on this um but like I said my rent already paid up for the month and which is another thing like people got so much stuff going on in the world and I know there's a lot of people that haven't even paid their rent that don't even follow rules or whatever and all kinds of stuff and we up in here being responsible okay there's no reason why we should be treated like this. So anyways, I love you guys. I don't want my phone to die on you because I don't know how the video is going to end. Um, I see all the comments and when I get off this video, I am going to read them. But I do want to thank you all for your support. I really appreciate it. Um, thank you for connecting with me. And like I said, try not to allow these negative spirits or whatever these distractions to deter you from whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish right now like you know and if it if they do deter you let it be temporary okay just don't let them distract you for too long because like you got you just got to trust the mess of success so i believe that we are being moved and shifted for a reason because there's something next something amazing for us to receive and we're being moved to receive it because i don't know why else this could be happening right so um anyways i love you all you all are amazing i'm gonna go um cook dinner <laughs> and also try to edit this video that i'm gonna have up to you guys you know for you guys as soon as possible i can't promise when i'm gonna have it up because like something weird is going on today like as i'm trying to even share that part of the video it's like my signal is bad like it's just ridiculous so anyways i love you guys yes please keep us in our pray in your prayers and um stick around for part two all right bye guys love you bye oh and don't forget to uh give this video a thumbs up if you were in or you watched the video if you were in the chat and comment let me know who you are where you're watching from and um it's so hard for me to get out this video Ooh! okay all right i love you guys bye